MMA is a combination of all the fighting styles, all the disciplines of combative martial arts, boxing, Muay Thai, wrestling, and Jiu Jitsu. While each fighter is well versed in each discipline, everybody has their strength and everybody has their strategy. That breaks down the two different positions. Now the strikers, the stand-up fighters, they want to control the distance, they want to keep them on the outside. The grappler in turn wants to get inside, get close, tie up the body and <sighs> make some throws because when they get down, it's all about submission. It's over, Jake Shields submits Mike Pyle. Now, let me take you through some of the most common MMA terms that you'll hear tonight. Ground and pound. This is a strategy to get your opponent to the ground, get a dominant position, and try to pound him out. Guard and half guard. These are defensive and offensive ground fighting positions where you're on your back, controlling your opponent with your legs and your arms, tying them up, or going for submission holds. Clinch. The clinch is a stand-up fighting strategy when two fighters close the distance and tie up or lock up. Arm bar. The arm bar is a submission hold technique that uses the entire power of your body to attack one joint, the elbow. If you get caught in the arm bar, you better submit or your arm's gonna break. Rear naked choke. Rear naked choke is a dominant position where you've got control of the back, you throw your hooks in, arm under the chin, and squeeze, and your opponent goes to sleep. Takedowns. Takedowns are the transition between striking and grappling. They can happen anytime, anywhere. There are a lot of rules and regulations in mixed martial arts. I'm gonna show you some of the do's and don'ts right now. First off, never attack the groin. You cannot knee the head. Totally illegal on the ground. There are no head butts. There's no eye gouging, no fish hooking. Not cool. No fingers in the orifices. And finally, you can't attack the fingers. You can't twist them, bend them, tweak them in any way. There are three ways an MMA fight ends. This one is over! First is KO or TKO. Now a good clean KO you're gonna see. Punch, kick, knee to the head, boom. I'm falling, you can't miss it. A TKO is any time the referee stops the action because you're no longer defending yourself. You gotta defend yourself and you gotta fight to win at all times. Second, submission hold or tap out. Now a submission hold happens when the joint is threatened, the arm, the neck, whatever is threatened, and you're forced to tap out or give up. Third is judge's decision. If you go the time limit, there are three judges who will make the call. Safety is the most important thing in MMA. If a referee feels like you're not fighting and you're not intelligently defending yourself, they're gonna stop the match. These are now the highest caliber athletes in professional sports, Olympic caliber athletes. You won't find them fighting in a bar and you won't find them fighting in the street, only here in the cage and only in mixed martial arts.